Hey guys, it's that Bastard Bisharp here, and it's another installment of What Pisses That Bastard Bisharp Off. Now, honestly, um, the conversation on Lady Espion's wall has actually sparked this idea, so I'm going to do this. This topic is human morality. Now, I might have briefly touched in on it, but in some of my previous videos concerning what may be right for one person is not right for another, but I, I, I feel that I could add on to it. So, here it goes. First off, like I've said before, what is right for one person is not right and may not be right for another. It's just simple as that. Just because eating a vegan diet works for you does not mean it works for another person. For all you know, another person can be allergic to all fruits and vegetables like I am. And, well, that would kill me. So, that being said, it doesn't work for everyone. Um, one of the comments on the page, you know, on Lady Espion's page, was the murderer should die. Well, how do you justify who's a murderer and who's not? I mean, the executioner can be a murderer. The judge who sentences the person to execution could be the murderer. Soldiers could be murderers. Police could be murderers. Just because, in the line of their duty, they had to shoot somebody. So, how do you judge who's a murderer and who's not? And it could be brought down to simple, well, whoever takes a life, or whoever organizes that event, is a murderer. Which could be similar to Charles Manson himself. Killed nobody, but organized it. You'd call Hitler a killer and murderer because he organized the Nazi movement. And see, that's the thing. Just because somebody has a moral morality in their own mind, it alters. It changes between people. It changes between groups and countries and ethnicities and religions. You can't just say, well, we're all free. We all have the same rights. But then you're going to say, murderers deserve to die. Well, apparently, somebody has the right to kill them, but the murderer themselves had no right to kill another person. And the person who was killed prior to by the murderer had the right to live. But yet this murderer has no right to live, but somebody else has the right to take his life. The fuck, guys. Morality does not exist. Morality, and I'll tell you what morality is, it is honestly that little sense of fear. You people crave order. Animals crave some kind of order and hierarchy. You get in the way of the alpha, you get bit, you get put down. You take a life, you want retribution. See, humans are greedy, malicious, spiteful fucking creatures. And no matter how good you think you are, at one point in time, you thought, I hate that fucking dick. And possibly even thought that the world would be better out without certain people. That's your malice. No one is free from it. Not even fucking Gandhi could be. He just chose not to act on it. And see, that's the thing. You can choose not to act on it, but humans, even without thinking, will react. You'll think, I just want to kick their ass. Malice. Well, she should be dating me. Jealousy. There's things in human that that set us off from animals. And I know I'm fucking smiling during this because I find it so damn amusing. It doesn't really piss me off. It just fucking amuses me that humans are so stupid to put their own emotions and their own thoughts and project it upon others. They think just because what they feel is right should be except by everyone. Doesn't work that way. Fact is, there's no such thing as peace. There's no such thing as morality. There's no such thing as right and wrong. It's only the shit you don't want to happen to you, so you want it to be law. You want it to be right or wrong. And that's the thing. It's humans, at the beginning, Neanderthals did not care about right and wrong. They were concerned about survival. And as time went on, humans began to develop communities 
social networks, businesses, so they became less self-reliant. Instead, they became more communal creatures. And in that order, they became subservient consumers. Humans are shit nowadays. I'd rather be living back in the time of Hitler and Alexander the Great. I'd rather be serving under fucking Caesar or somebody who actually had the balls to say, all right, we're going to fucking kill these guys. I'd rather live in that time where everyone actually had a pair of fucking balls and didn't freak out of the smallest of things. Oh, you're not supposed to make fun of the handicapped. You're not supposed to make fun of gays. You're not supposed to make fun of the retards. You're not supposed to say retard, nigger, chink, spick. Just fuck you guys. Now, fuck morality. And fuck any sense of right and wrong. Morals and laws are just there to restrict our true nature and to make us weaker. It, it's just that simple. People are fucking stupid. People are gullible and they fucking fell for the whole right and wrong, good and evil bullshit. And I honestly think that because of the stories passed on th throughout history, the Odyssey, Hercules, all those stories have made us think the good guy always wins. Good triumphs over evil. Who says? Hercules himself was a hero, but lost himself in rage which became those trials he had to endure to find salvation within himself. Humans, even heroes, fall to the darkness. That is all. That is all that will ever be. Chaos, bloodshed, hatred. Those things will never fade. Those things can never fade. Because you cannot have peace. No one can have peace. No animal can have peace. No saint can have peace. You can only be content with the chaos and shitstorm that surrounds you. And that's not a bad thing. Saying, okay, the world's fucked up and it's going to shit. I'm fine with that. Is not a bad thing. But instead, people have been programmed to think that they need to better the world. They think they need to do right. You don't. You don't need to do right. All you need to do is sit back and watch the world burn. Because people are fucking idiots, and they're gonna destroy it either way. So, why not? Why not enjoy all of this bloodshed and chaos? Why worry? Why feel guilt, shame, remorse? All it does is act negatively on your own body. But instead, just enjoy it. Find some sense of peace and tranquility with in that chaos and just give up that right and wrong but no that'd be too easy for the people people have to play the hero people have to act like they're better than everyone else because in reality humans don't want to admit that they're just like everyone else. They have the flaws. They have the same malice. No, no, no. They have to portray a certain image. They have to put themselves above the rest. They have to make themselves look good. Because in this era, image is everything. I am not a determined person. I'm smart, I'm cynical, and I'm an asshole. Moderately average looking, I would say. Probably damn sexy, but most, but hey, being humble here. Let's see. So, oh, here's another thing. Cigarettes. Morality. Don't smoke these, because they'll kill you. It's wrong to harm your body. Scars. Doesn't matter. Do what you want. If you want true freedom, don't let the objects and ideas of the masses restrain you from being who you are and who you want to be. If you want to grow up to be the next Ted Bundy, fucking do it. That's who you are. That's who you want to be. That's what's in you. That is your nature. And there's nothing wrong with it. If you want to be fucking Gandhi, go ahead. 
But realize, there's going to be that person who comes up and socks you in the face and curb stomps you to death. No one is right. No one's wrong. There are idiots. And that is true. But there are also those brilliant people who have realized they can control people through fear. And that's where the more immorality came from. See, people don't want chaos. They, they strive so much that they think that what they're doing is right, but they're only feeding the, the chaos. They're only feeding the ideas of people like me. You can say, well, we're going to war because they attacked us. Well, so, they took some people's lives, so it's your right to go over there and kill them. Congratulations, you just justified murder. How do you feel? See, I'm someone who, if I killed someone, I wouldn't say, well, they did something wrong. No, I felt like it. They happened to be at the wrong place at the wrong time, and I was in that mood. Sucks for them. I don't need morals. I don't need reasoning. I don't need any of that crap. Because I know that it's pointless. You're all gonna die. And hell, if heaven and hell do exist, we've all earned enough, and we've all done enough shit to earn health. Blame so, you know. What do I have to worry about? <laughs> well, with this many people as there tell me that I'm going to hell for my sense of humor, well, it doesn't matter either way if I was Christian or not. Fact is, I cannot change who I am. I have become this mess, and I enjoy it. So why change? Why change what makes me happy? And the reason why I would change would be because it would be the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do for me to pray for someone. It's the right thing to do to help somebody in need. It's the right thing to do not to swear, not to look up porn, not to masturbate, not to have sex before marriage. It's the right thing to do to get married and settle down and have that white picket fence and a two-story building. Fuck right and wrong. Right and wrong is just a perspective for idiots who want to justify their own ideas and force it upon others. So, that being said, it's been a 13-minute video, and I am pretty much done with this shit. I just wanted to touch this down, go like Lady Espeon, um... Bad Touch Venus War, Charizard the Rapist, That Bastard Air on Genesect, and I'm gonna cut it off there, so fuck you guys, and keep an eye out for more shit from me. Peace. I guess.